Hello everybody, and we're back working on the water tower. Dad is helping me today. Hi Dad. So today is the goal to put the water tower on the, on the foot over here. We're raising it up by 50 centimeters, so that way we can put... So with 50 centimeters we can put one of these underneath it, otherwise the crane would be touching the ground and then it's useless. So that's why we are raising it up a little bit. And oh, hopefully by the end of the day we'll have a tower standing here with barrels in it. And then I also got all the equipment ready to couple each barrel to each other so it can start filling with water. But we'll see if we get that far today. So let's get to work. As you can see, we've made one, two feet. That's what, where the entire tower is gonna be resting on. And as you can see, we've painted it already a little bit. Uh, that is mostly for the part underneath here where we cannot reach later, that's touching the ground. So it's protected from moisture with the paint. And the same thing with the tower here. I've painted the back of the tower that's going to be up against the wall of the house because we won't be able to reach that later. Later on we can paint the whole thing, but for now we're just painting the parts we won't be able to reach later. Well there you go, the foot is done, ready to put the tower on top. The first time we're going to put it on top is just for a test fitting and we're going to take it off again and then we'll screw some stuff down, put it back on and well... I'll just show you. There it is, it's standing on its base, it's attached to the wall. Tomorrow we're gonna put a little bit more screws in it to secure it even better. But uh, the tower is in its place. So the task for tomorrow is to paint the last few parts that I haven't painted yet. Then all the barrels are going in it. And then we're gonna put all the couplings into the barrels so that they're all connected. So, really close to getting done. But um, I don't think I'm gonna make that a separate se episode for you guys. You'll see it right now. Yeah, uh, every time we start this project, I forget to film. We're just, I've, I've got paint in my beard. Because I painted the whole thing and now we're putting the barrels in. And as you can see, we already are connecting the barrels to each other. So the water can flow. So that's what we're doing now. We're putting in these fittings that I bought yesterday in preparation for this. And now once the barrels are all connected, we're one step closer.
there we go. There's our first look of how the entire system is going to look. Um, now we still need to make a hole in the top one and connect it to the rain gutter. So water goes into the system. Okay, so me and my dad have been talking a while and we've been planning how we are gonna connect it to the rain gutter. We have a plan, we just don't have the stuff yet. But the first thing we're gonna do is fill this entire system with water so that we can figure out if we have any leaks. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna clean up a little bit with all our tools, go get some water and then uh, fill it up. And then we hope none of these are going to be leaking. <laughs> and this is where we're getting the water from. This is uh, a road and this is the closest little river we have. Doesn't look like a river, but it goes all the way up there. And it comes from the other side of the road, comes in here. And uh, we recently purchased a, or my dad, I should say, purchased a pump so we can pump the water from there into this into this tank and then we couple the pump to our little EcoFlow battery which is full of solar power yes so yeah we're getting free water with free energy and i did look up if you are allowed by law to take this water from here and I'm not gonna bore you with all the details, but yes, yes you can, as long as you've got permission from the landowner or you're not uh, actually doing any damage. You can't take water from somebody that really needs the water. And you also need to keep in mind that maybe other people are doing it and altogether you can't take too much. But since this is a, ri a river, that's constantly flowing and we know where the river is coming from. There is a lake uh, all the way up there where the river is coming from. We'll know this is, go is going to be fine. Time to start the pump and see if it works. And this container can hold a thousand liters of water but this trailer cannot hold a thousand kilograms, so we're not filling it all the way. Oh, there it goes. Okay, we've got as much water as the trailer can handle. Now to get it home and put it into our water tower and see if we got any leaks. Okay, we got 700 liters of water. Time to pump it in the water tower and see how much it holds and if we got any leaks. Okay, so we didn't put all the water in, we just have some water. And as you can see over here, we've got a leak. So we're just waiting for all the water to go down from the upper barrel to the lower barrel. And then we can go fix that leak. So it's good to do a test before you start using it. <laughs> okay, we took out all the leaks, we hope. Time for test number two. All right, here we go. Well, we filled it with water. We got all the leaks out. Here's the water pressure. It's got a nice water pressure. Of course, that's gonna change if it becomes emptier. But I did go out and buy a potato press. Now, let me show you. This is part of a potato press and, oops. This thing was in it. Now, of course, if we bore a hole in the top barrel, put this in, it's gonna be the perfect water filter to keep leaves and everything out of my system. So part of a potato press as a filter. Time to put that in. 
So we got all the old parts of the rain gutter system off and now we're gonna couple it to the barrels. But first we need to make the hole and filter and see if the length of the stuff we have will work. All right, I'm up here. Um, we made the hole in there, but now some metal parts of making the hole fell down. So I got this little magnet on a stick. I'm gonna get, gonna get those out and then put the filter in. Er loopt geen drinkwater. <laughs> sure. I put that tube in its place and it can start filling with water. I need two hands for that and I'm standing on the ladder so I'm not gonna do that while filming. Wat een metaalbandje aan het dak eromheen of zo? Well, the system is done. We've got it working. So we got the water filter hooked up, and uh, as you can see, it's full of water. We can just get all the water we need, and then we can store this thing in here together with other stuff. Um, right now, it's just the skeleton. This is the working system. Later, we're gonna make it look good, but. Uh, that's for later. Now the rains are welcome and it can fill up with water. So happy with that. So as you can see over there, the rain gutter goes into the barrels and then each barrel is coupled with each other. And then we just get some water. Later on, I am gonna make it look like this. So it's nice and uh, even with the house. It has got the same look as the house. For now, it's just an open skeleton, but a working system. That was the important part. I don't think I'm gonna film making it nice because, you know, it's just screwing planks and painting. Who thinks that is interesting? Nobody does, right? <laughs> but there we go, it's finished. Well, thank you for watching this one. I am happy with my working water system, no leaks and got free rainwater for the garden. So thank you for watching. See you all next time. Bye. Please like and subscribe. And if you want to support us or just want something that Li Hao has made, you can buy this little notebook, Look for Stars. The links are in the description, all on Amazon, and you can buy them. See, you can make some beautiful notes in there. The video that just popped up, that one is, according to YouTube, something you will like. So try looking at that one. See you all later. Bye.